Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Click Your Enthusiast. I am Abhishek, a Click Your Learner, and in this video, I will share my learning about the scatter chart. So, this chart which you are seeing at your screen is a form of scatter chart. Here in this chart, on the y axis, we have a total companies count, the total number of companies uh, in a particular country. So, we have a countries list over here, and uh, on the x-axis we are seeing the the amount of export uh, these companies are doing in millions of dollars and the this bubble kind of information is showing how much the government is spending on the companies on the number of companies to promote the exports so uh, that means if higher number of companies but the smaller is the bubble size means uh, the government is spending less but the export is high however if you look here in this green bubble where country is under rules which says the amount of government spending is high whereas the export is really less which means it is inefficient in doing the export related business so these are just the fictitious figures which i have produced to show or to provide a case for the scatter chart where we are showing the total number of companies on the y axis the export amount which these companies uh, are doing by exporting the goods from the countries from their countries and the size is the the bubble size is basically the uh, government spending on these companies to promote the export so this export chart uh, i'm sorry this uh, scatter chart is also called the bubble chart because of these bubbles so you can uh, interchange this term by using either as a scatter chart or a bubble chart but both means the same so let's see how we can create this and uh, then we will see uh, some of its properties to better represent it so for now I'm just removing the chart so that I'll show you how to create it from scratch so I click on remove click OK alright so behind to this chart I have the data for that I will use in this chart where I have the country information so the export amount in millions the government spend on these companies in millions and the count of total companies which are engaged into export related activities in their particular countries again this information is fictitious i've just produced it to provide a case here so let's go ahead and create a chart by right clicking on the blank screen go to new sheet object and uh, click on the chart and uh, let's select this scatter chart option and uh, click next so the axis that we want is country or we want to lay down the information for country so we'll select it as a dimension click on next we will on x axis we will say the export on y axis we will say total companies and this bubble chart the size of the bubble will figure it out from the government spend so we will say sum of the government spent so we will enter government spend on companies for now let's click on finish and again increase the size to provide a better view all right so let's click again scroll it here D sorry drag it here all right so this will provide a very good view now you can clearly see here in a lot of bubbles uh, are presented in this chart you know indicating a particular country so it's this bubble right here shows Turks and Chaos's Islands which are doing uh, export and total number of companies which is somewhere in the middle of the chart this yellow bubble is basically indicating Ferros Islands where you know it shows that there are a lot of export related activities but and the number of companies are high but the government spend is a bit low if you want uh, some slicing and dicing here in this chart you can do this by uh, 
doing a left click from your mouse and drag it in the required zone the zone which you want to highlight more and remove the left click this information will be uh, selected for you where you will see your selection information so here the total number of companies are high and they are doing some of the export related activities but the bubble size is indicating that government is spending very less here on the export related activities so as you can see this is, these scatter charts are really helpful in visualizing the possible cause and effect scenarios between the different data points and to create this chart you need at least two dimension and one expression to draw the scatter chart so here we have these total companies and export related information for these countries and our expression is government spend and uh, as you can see it is just showing the export and total companies information in this pop-up pop-up information pop-up text you can uh, also show the amount of government spending by right let's right click on this to show the amount spent by government so we right clicked on the chart click on properties and in in expressions we click on advanced mode and we will say text as pop-up click OK All right if I again put over my mouse over to this bubble it will show one eight one two eight three six one which is one twenty eight thousand three hundred sixty one amount spent by the government um, for promoting the export related activities so this is how you can utilize this uh, uh, scatter or bubble chart uh, for these kind of data points um, uh, where you know uh, you have two dimensions like you know you are showing total companies and export and the bubble size is indicating government spend similarly you have uh, say for example uh, the company information where you want to figure it out how much the company is spending on a particular product given the fact that uh, the amount of sales that company is generating and the uh, headcount the company is having so based on these kind of scenarios you know uh, you can generate the scatter and bubble chart which is very helpful in visualizing such kind of information so this is pretty much all i wanted to discuss in this uh, scatter chart i hope uh, you will find this video useful and i will meet you in the next video with a new chart till then bye bye